Vlog day 295. <laughs> tell you guys anything because now I've got a couple of confessions to make. One, I didn't get to bed till like 4.30 in the morning, which is partially due to the fact that we did daylight savings time apparently. So I'm guessing because suddenly we went from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. before I even knew any time had passed. So that's one. Two, I didn't get my laundry done yesterday as I had wanted to. So uh, gotta do that today. I was gonna just do laundry, chill out, maybe write some, but I have a friend from college who just flew into town. She told me she was coming. Uh, I just got the dates wrong. We apparently had daylight saving week as well and just jumped forward a few days. So, off to a great start. Off to a great start. very chatty group. Laundry started. I need to find a baguette. I think there's a bakery open here, but the one right next to you, you decide is has the best baguette in Paris. Their window claims. I want to give that a try. Not sure which way is the fastest way to get there. They claim to be the best baguette for this 2015 in Paris, which is basically like claiming to be the best baguette in the world at that point. I'd like to say that I'll be the judge of that, but no, nobody's going to believe me if I think a baguette's good. It's a very pointy baguette. Nice and soft, fresh, but uh, will it be worth the extra 20 cents? Baguettes should only ever cost you a euro, so I wonder if the 20 cents is the uh, fee for being the best. It's a baguette. I mean, it's tasty, uh, it's good. But it's a little short. I'm not gonna be able to get my full sandwich quota out of this. And uh, 20 cents extra, I mean, I don't know. I know a good baguette from a bad baguette, but I don't know if I know the difference between a good baguette and an amazing baguette, so. I don't know. My bakery's closed, so that might have to be my weekend bakery, but still, 20 cents. Not to beat a dead horse, but what I normally do is I cut a baguette in half and then cut that half into quarters effectively, so cut it in half again. And that's how I make sandwich. This is a fairly small half of a baguette, and you'll notice it's not even a full half of a baguette. If I had done it that, I just would have ended up with little sandwichettes. You can chew on it though. So, quality of the bread, delicious. Quantity of the bread, lacking. Price of the bread, there's, there's a reason that I keep coming back to that. <laughs> the gold standard in the United States. And in France, they basically have the bread standard. A baguette's just supposed to cost a euro, like anywhere you go. That's just, it's supposed to be the standard thing where it's like, no matter how nice of a bakery, no matter what part of town you're in, a baguette just costs a euro and it always stays that way. It didn't stay that way today. Which means these guys are participating in inflation or driving it potentially even. So in conclusion, the best baguette in Paris makes a very tasty sandwich. And I'll probably get one there again sometime because it is right next to you decide. And my bakery is closed every weekend, so I'm always on the hunt for a baguette. And it's definitely better than the one that's like another block down from my bakery, that place. Like you only go to when you're desperate. Anyways, back to Coffee Hunters in France. I'm gonna go meet my friend Hannah for coffee at Lockwood? She's just in town with some friends. I don't know if I know her friends that she's traveling with, but I'll show them around town a little bit this evening. And uh, in the meantime, you and I get to try a new coffee place. And I think we should probably keep a list of these somewhere for you, just in case you're ever in Paris and you really want to try them out. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> They don't have espresso here, so that, that's a knock against my book, but that's just me. We'll try the regular coffee and see how it goes. 
All right, well, we collected the other two friends, and uh, Hannah's been here for six hours. And they're closing up shop, so it's time to go. See their Airbnb, which is hopefully less confusing than the last Airbnb I saw. Do you know what you want to see while you're here? Food? Oh, okay, we're gonna go get food. Wow. Oh, absolutely. I, mean, Not... I wouldn't, but you. <laughs> this is really nice. I think we found the perfect spot for these guys. These guys don't want to do too much, which is fair. They're all jet lagged and uh, ready to go to bed. So we're going to try and keep them awake, keep it simple. Just going to take them to the Eiffel Tower, get a crepe. Should be nice and easy. Relaxing, because you can just hang out in the park, eat a crepe. We will go do that and see how long it lasts. Jet lag finally won. They're gonna go back and go to bed. I'm gonna go try to edit this. I have a job interview tomorrow, so I should probably not go to bed at four in the morning this time around. It was a little bit rough. <laughs>